So this isn't going to be a demo. This tip is just going to be running through the documentation from GitHub on two topics, inserting a sample SQL into a test case and inserting images into a test case. We're going to start off here with SQL. So if you have test cases that involve running SQL in an IDE, an integrated dev environment, SQL Server Management Studio, Toad, whatever, if you're going to be running that SQL, you want to have it easily accessible so you can copy paste it out of your test case into the SQL engine and run it. So the example over here to the right depicts the best practice where the details are up here on their own row in their own test case and the SQL is separated out down here in the lower row. Keeping the SQL separate makes it really easy just to highlight the cell, copy, go to your IDE, paste. Your SQL will go blop right in and you can execute it. If you were to place the SQL in the same row up in here, then you'd have to carefully double click to open the cell for edit, highlight just the SQL, and then hit control C and then close it. It's a lot of extra steps. So it's better to keep it in a separate row. And notice when I put it in a separate row, the four minute execution time and the pass fail to do whatever status, they belong up here with the test case. This SQL is just an information I, so we don't double count status, and the time is zero, so we don't double count that maybe, arguably, the first time you're writing the test case, you'd put in 15 minutes because you were messing around, looking things up, writing the SQL. So on test cycle one, you'd have maybe 15 minutes here to create the SQL and four minutes to execute it. On subsequent test cycles, you would zero this out because it's written. You're not going to spend any more time on it. And you'd leave this at four minutes or it'd probably get faster and faster as you execute it more. And the last thing to mention is <clears throat> you can change the font color. You can make it bold or whatever. In this case, I think it was Courier because Courier is a fixed width font. So if you go X number of characters over, they all line up. It's not a proportionate width font like this. So I changed the font size, a uh, type base to Courier and changed the color to whatever, blue, purple, whatever. And that is a quick tip on how to make SQL work for you inside the test case manager. On to the next tip, it's how to embed an image in a test case. So sometimes you may want to put a screenshot of expected results into a test case or a screenshot of some behavior, whatever. But it's handy sometimes to have a screenshot or an image. Uh, if you want to do that, then it, you can benefit by having that image embedded right into the test case. And there's an easy way to do it. When you're in the test case, say my mouse pointer's right there, cursor, just hit Alt-Enter, Alt-Enter, Alt-Enter. That makes the cell wider. And when you get the cell wide enough to contain the image, control V and that paste the image in and then resize the image so that it fits. That's all the more there is to it. And then uh, in the earlier videos, I demoed this and showed how as you insert rows above and below and alter the line height above, this image stays within the cell and moves up and down with it. So handy trick to make your test cases look better and more functional and not have to cross-reference some image in a file far away. You can just see right there when you're testing. So it's, it's really nice. It makes your testing efficient to have those expected results right there embedded as an image.